Okay, I'm going to show you a couple different ways of telling your server to serve WebP images as well as how to verify that it is indeed serving those WebP images to supported browsers. Um, so naturally you first have to have the WebP option enabled for conversion which doesn't replace your original images, it just creates a WebP image alongside of it with .webp appended to the end of the, the file name. As you can kind of see in the, the rewrite rules here, it's just adding this .webp to the request file name. So it's not replacing the extension, it's just adding it. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you is the alternative method. Uh, so we'll check that and save it and close this for a second to show you how to get there. So if you right click on one of these images and hit inspect, it's going to take you here, which is slightly useful, but we want to see something else. We want to see the network tab here. And so we'll reload the page, and here you can see all the WebP images that were loaded. Because the backend server doesn't know what a WebP image is, it's still sending them as JPEGs, um, but they are obviously WebP images, they have the WebP file name there. So there's that method and to show you a little bit of what that looks like, let's hit inspect on this and here's what it's gonna look like. It's a no script element that's wrapped around your original image and then when the script fires it makes a copy of that image right here uh, with a WebP source if you're in a WebP browser or if you were in Firefox or in a Internet Explorer, you, this would be the original JPEG image. Um, if a visitor has JavaScript turned off, they're just going to get the original image un, unaltered right here. So nothing special uh, for them, but there's at least JavaScript fallback that way. Um, so the other method is slightly trickier to test. Um, and I'll show you this other thing that it does at the end here is it adds uh, a type of WebP to anything with a WebP extension and that's the missing piece where the ser I said the server doesn't know what a WebP image is that is going to tell Apache that anything with dot WebP at the end is a WebP image so let's insert the rules and see what happens go back to the network tab and refresh and here it looks like we got a bunch of JPEGs we used to have WebPs what happened well take you a look over here into the type column and now they're WebP and this tells us that the server is actually sending the WebP version but the URL or the link to the image doesn't change when you're using the HT access rules so even though it's given the same name as the JPEG it's actually sending the WebP image behind the scenes. Um, so that's a couple different ways of using WebP. Um, if you're using Nginx, uh, you're going to be doing something similar to the HT access rules, where basically you look for any images that are JPEG or PNG. Um, you check to see if a .webp image exists, and if it does, then you do a rewrite uh, appending the dot webp extension and off you go and the server will send a webp image uh, light speed will also work with these apache rules generally uh, and sometimes you do need to move these i'll show you what these look like in the file um, so right now they're below the wordpress rules um, if you're on multi-site, sometimes you need to move these rules above. So do a little cut, whoop, cut and paste and do it like that to get it to work. So that's it for WebP. If you have any questions, uh, shoot us an email, support at eww.io or visit our documentation site, docs.io. EWWW.io. Alrighty, have a good one.